If you believe you will receive the Android 15 update on your phone, then like the video is appropriate because if you trust your phone manufacturer, liking the video is the right thing to do. If you were thinking about when, where, and how the update will arrive, then it's still fine. Watch the video to stay informed about what new features are coming in Android 15. Now, firstly, I want to warn you, please don't take any risks with your primary phone because the version we are getting now is a developer preview. There are many glitches and non-issues as well. Now, let's discuss one by one what new features we will get in the Android 15 update and how our experience will be elevated. The first feature is partial screen recording. We saw this in Android 14, but now it's coming in a wider spread. You can now record partial areas more conveniently. If you want to talk about a pop-up or a particular window, you can screen record only that part. Life often requires screen recording, but when sharing, many difficulties arise. Now you can just do a partial screen recording. Additionally, satellite connectivity support is coming. As you know, the satellite update came to the iPhone last time, but now we're no longer lagging behind. Now, we'll get to see this feature in Android as well. And most importantly, the satellite support will become more widespread because of Android 15. The next feature that's going to be everyone's favorite is the notification cooldown. Sometimes, many notifications ring simultaneously, causing a headache. This feature will control that and cool down the flood of notifications, meaning it will advise not to bombard users with too many notifications all at once to give them peace of mind. Another thing we'll see is better control over camera with additional presets in the app controls. For example, if you use a third-party app for the camera, you can customize the intensity of the flash and preview brightness across different applications, resulting in a better camera experience across different apps. It means your camera experience is going to be very good. Now there's also the universal toggle for keyboard vibration. You'll have control over keyboard vibration intensity. Whether we want vibrations or not will be under our control. Another thing that has recently improved is the Bluetooth tile. When you open it, you'll get a quick pop-up where you'll find out which devices are connected. But the thing here is that with just one tap, you'll instantly find what you're looking for. I think it is really good by adding better convenient. Two new options have been added regarding Bluetooth. Firstly, when you turn off Bluetooth, it will be temporarily off and will turn back on the next day. You will face the situation where you forget to turn it back on and miss out on important things. I hope this is much better compared to the old one. Additionally, we're getting better audio sharing, friends. I mean, you can share audio more easily and more efficiently now. When you use your webcam, you connect or charge your phone. Now, there's a high quality option available. Previously, the quality used to be a bit low, but now in Android 15, you can use your mobile as a high-quality webcam for your computer. Foldables also have a new update where continuous features are added, indicating what apps you would open when you close the screen and what you were doing when you opened it again. It's going to be better because you know a lot of brands are focusing on foldables, so Android 15 is well-tailored for foldables. Now, there's a very good feature in iOS, which is the option to offload apps to save storage. If you don't use certain apps frequently, you can offload them and re-download them when needed. It's similar to what we have in Android 15 now. Another feature is lock screen widgets. All of this used to happen in Android a long time ago, where you could do it at one time, but later Android removed this option. However, when iOS got this option, it seems like now Android 15 will also get this feature. Friends, the volume panel is going to get even better now. You can control it more effectively, knowing the levels of all your volumes. And yes, for those who've used headphones for loud sounds, this is going to prove quite beneficial. One thing that's going to be really great here is that now you'll be able to find your phone, even if it's off. This scenario exists in iPhones, but now on Android 15, you'll also get to see this feature. And now Google is fully working on it. And the feature is quite good. Sometimes you forget where you placed your phone and you start feeling anxious, but this feature will definitely help you get rid of that tension. Another feature that it seems like now, Android 15 will also get this feature. If you go there and tweet, you can highlight the icons or text in a different way. If you want to change the look to a simple one, this can prove to be a good feature. Now, a feature that will be very useful for many people is the private space. Whether we talk about hiding or walking apps, or if you want to store your important data separately, now, you'll get to see this in Android 15 without needing any third-party apps. What do you say, isn't it a fun feature? So, these were the top 15 features of Android 15. Let me know if you think you will get the Android 15 update and if you will enjoy the benefits of these features. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.